Jim Phillips. Have, have a day like this? You know, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I love it out here, and every time that we get to get to play them, you know, you kind of everybody always wants to kind of stick it to their former team, you know. And uh, this is a this is a great organization that we played against today, and just to be able to go out there and play against them and, and ended up having the game that that I have, it was it was sweet. I, I loved it, but yeah, it was it was sweet. When you, on the pick six, on the pick six, did you know that you were? Yeah. Go ahead. On the pick six, did you know that you weren't grabbed, touched at all? Uh. Or did you just get up with instinct and say, "Okay, I, got I didn't feel six. myself get touched." Okay. So I just and we always tell uh, tell them to make the rest, make the decision. So I just got up and ran. And I know when when they didn't blow the whistle, I knew I was getting in the end zone. So. <laughs> Can you just take us through from you know you guys get the call from the sideline, your assignment there, where you're looking at from the interception and then getting in the end zone? Yeah, I, I don't want. I can't give away too too much, but uh, you know, you you watch film the whole week and, and hope that you get the opportunity to 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 execute the way that you want to execute. So we got the call. We, I saw the formation, and I had a few options that I could make, and I just so happened to make the right option, and we ended up getting pressure on Herbert, which was our big focus all day. Just get pressure in his face. And we made him make a quick decision, and Cook wasn't re uh, ready for it, and I was able to take advantage of it and go go to the end zone. What would you just what What would you describe as the ability to close out a close game this week that maybe you guys couldn't do with Tampa or Dallas, whatever? What's What's the difference now? Huge, you know. Great teams win the close games, and, and we need to keep stringing these along. Early in the season, we were losing those. Uh, it was a mistake here, or there, a few mistakes. But we knew that if we wanted to take the season where we want to take it, you have to win those close games. Because each year, teams that don't make the playoffs, they look back at them and say, ah, there were three plays in each game that easily could have went the other way, and we would have been in the playoffs. So we don't want to we don't want to look back at the end of the season and say, ah, we left it out there. And we want to be a team that plays 60 minutes or even longer, however long we have to play to get the job done. So. That was a big focus for us, and we've been working on that each and every week. And it was great to see that we were able to do that to, today, and we got to keep doing it the rest of the season. You're not in Foxborough. It's about 3,000 miles away from it. But when you ran into the end zone, it felt like you were running into the end zone at Foxborough. It just the fan support that you got from people traveling across the country yeah. the year. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> you know, uh, catching a pick, and then you're hearing, you're hearing screams like that. It, it was crazy. So, uh, you know, I love the fan base out. I love the fan base out in Boston and Fox Bird, and I'm glad, uh, you know, that they're traveling with us and, and supporting us still because it's been a frustrating season, and I know that they plan to see the season go, you know, a totally different way than it's going right now. But to to be able to hear that support and see those fans in the stands with all the jerseys on is is real love. Yep. You know, mention that the season maybe hasn't gone the way the fans hope, maybe you guys hope, but what do you think now? You know, as you even up the record at four and four, what's ahead? What, what is this team capable of? Yeah, I mean, we're capable of great things, you know, but our main thing is we just keep our head down and keep working. You know, we celebrate this win for 24 hours, and then it's off the go for the Panthers. I mean, they're, they're a great team, too, so uh, we don't want to we don't want to get too high. You never want to get too low. You want to stay in the middle of the pack and just keep your head down and keep working, so that's our mindset right now, just Celebrate this for today, and then it's on to the next. There's After the, still a lot of mistakes out there that we need to get correct. After the game was over, who were some of the former teammates that you looked at, looked after, and then what was that reception like? Yeah, you know, it was great seeing my boys. Of course, the DBs and then the training staff and uh, my guy Arthur, the uh, player personnel guy, and just seeing everybody that I pretty much grew up with. Uh, it was great to see all those boys and, and just be able to talk about you know, the old times and, and them being genuinely happy for me. You know, it sucks that they lost the game, but it shows how genuine it was because they were happy for me and happy that, you know, I was able to come somewhere else and, and still produce. Adrian, hey, Justin huh? Herbert's two worst games as a pro have come against you guys. You, you said what? It, Justin Herbert's two worst games statistically have been against your defense. Mm -hmm. Can you explain why? Uh, like I said that earlier, I can't get I can't get too much away. But uh, you know, sometimes it's just the way the cook, cookie crumbles. Sometimes you know, uh, you play against certain teams that that end up they might have the number sometimes, and it's still early in his career, so I ain't no telling what's down the road. But he's a great quarterback, and 
You know, he has a lot of good games left in him, and I love watching him play. Yeah.